Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the New Balance Main USA Teddy 16 Gray Hoodie. So after copying the first half of the Teddy 16 when it comes to the shoes, I finally decided to pull the trigger on one of the hoodies from the collection. From what I've heard from people who copped before me, um, they're all high quality. Obviously, all the apparel is also made in the USA, which is awesome, but the prices are all very steep. And from what I've heard from someone that copped pretty much everything, from the apparel collection they said that if you were to cop something cop something with the thicker materials like the hoodies the crew necks the shorts and the sweatpants and avoid the long sleeve tees and regular t-shirts because those are overpriced and don't really justify the upcharge but uh, when it comes to the hoodies and the sweatpants and and sorts uh, the materials are definitely excellent quality in hand they're very solid they're very nice and warm on your body uh, I'll obviously end the video with an on body shot of me wearing the hoodie uh, the hoodie feels uh, very warm I wouldn't necessarily call it a heavyweight hoodie but it's pretty solid it's like above average in terms of weight uh, the hoodie itself is made out of a 95% cotton 5% polyester blend which is pretty standard for most uh, high quality hoodies the hoodie itself retailed for a hefty price of $175 and I'm sure most of you are wondering is it worth it at that price and after having it I can definitely say no it's not worth it for $175 I mean that's pretty much the price of one of the shoes or maybe just a little bit less but you can get a brand new Main USA New Balance for $175 or you could get this hoodie I mean as I said the hoodie is very solid it's very warm and uh, great quality but $175 is a very steep price especially for a plain hoodie this is a very basic gray hoodie since when do essentials retail for $175 like I think the hoodie would be pretty solid if it retailed for only a hundred dollars rather than 175 I feel like that would be a good sweet spot it's a basic hoodie but it's a hundred dollars because it's from the Teddy 16 and it's made in USA but uh I don't know, $175, definitely a hefty price, and uh, if you were to cop it, i definitely wait for a sale. Now I'll go over a quick overview of the hoodie. Obviously you have the hood itself, you get some ribbed uh, panels at the top uh, that the drawstrings run through, and then the drawstrings are in a kind of uh, off-white color on the gray colorway. Um, the uh, little metal aglets that uh, they run through, I'm not too sure if the camera can pick it up, but uh, they actually have uh, New Balance branding on it. And then obviously the hoodie is just plain gray with the little NB logo embroidered on in red and white, which is nice. It matches the same font found on the boxes of the Teddy 16. Back of the hoodie, also just plain gray. You also get um, a, a pocket in the front, pretty standard. Uh, the sleeves are also pretty standard. You got uh, ribbed cuffs as well. You also got uh, ribbed at the bottom, a little elastic. And this is the little tag inside the hoodie. It's a pretty nice fabric tag with New Balance Made in USA branding. And yeah, um, before I do the on-body shot of me wearing the hoodie, um, I'll go over the sizing and my personal measurements. So I'm 155 pounds. I'm also five foot six. I am a true size medium when it comes to tops, and that's true for t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, crew necks, uh, jackets, and hoodies. And uh, I'd say the Teddy 16 apparel line, uh, at least for the hoodie, runs true to size. I got this in a size medium, and it fit me excellently. I actually was able to try these on uh, in person. I tried on a size small first. It was low tight, but then when I went to the size medium, my true size, it fit excellently. So I recommend going with your true top slash hoodie size or trying them on if you have the chance. And with that out of the way, I'll end off the video with an on-body shot of me wearing the hoodie.